Hey guys, it's Mark. Welcome back to Silence Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to build a gaming PC from start to finish, a complete step-by-step -step beginner's guide. By the end of this video you'll know exactly how to assemble a gaming PC, whether this is your first PC build or you're just here for some tips, you're in the right place. We're starting off with a Corsair 3500X case. It's a premium mid-tower with loads of airflow and tempered glass, perfect for showing off all of your components. Before we install any parts, remove the side panels and get familiar with where the fans, radiator and cables will go. Having a clean workspace really helps, so make sure your space is dust free and put each case panel in a safe place. The motherboard I will be using for this build is the Aorus BH60 Elite Wi-Fi ICE which will match perfectly with this case. It has Intel Core Ultra Processor support via an LGA1851 socket and DDR5 memory support. Place the motherboard on the case box and get your CPU and memory ready to install. Now let's install the CPU, it's the Intel Core Ultra 7 to 65K. Lift the retention arm on the motherboard CPU socket, carefully line up the gold triangles on the CPU with the socket marker and gently place it in. Close the latch and lock it down, that's your CPU installed. Please be careful as the pins on the motherboard are very fragile, one false move and it's game over. Installing a Ryzen CPU is the exact same process although the AM5 board will come with the backplate and screws ready to go. Next up is the RAM. I'm going to be using Corsair's Dominator Titanium RGB and I cannot wait to see what these look like when the PC is all turned on. On your motherboard, open up the clips on the dim slots, align the notch of the stick to match the motherboards and then once aligned, push down completely straight. Push firmly until you hear a click, install them in slots 2 and 4 for dual channel performance. To finish the look we're also using the Corsair Dominator Titanium DDR5 Light Enhancement Kit. These mimic real memory sticks and completes that fully populated look. Perfect for showcasing RGB with no compromises to system latency. Our storage is a 1TB Orico Gen 4 NVMe SSD. For installation remove the M.2 heatsink on the motherboard, slide the SSD into the slot at a slight angle, push it flat then secure it with a screw. Replace the heatsink if you like for better cooling. Installation is fast, easy and now you've got blazing speeds for games and editing, 7400 megabytes per second. Now that your CPU, RAM, SSD and cooler are installed, let's mount the motherboard into the case. Align it with the standoffs inside the Corsair 3500X and lower it in carefully and secure it with the included screws. Make sure that all rear I.O. ports line up with the cutout before tightening it down fully. Now the board is in place, I will connect all of the front I.O. cables. The audio connector goes at the bottom left of the motherboard here. The USB 3.0 connector goes here. The Type-C connector goes here and lastly the power reset switch is conveniently combined on this case and it connects to the header on the bottom right of the motherboard here. CPU cooling is going to be handled by Corsair with their IQ Link Titan 360 RX LCD AIO. This is one of the best coolers you can get right now. Certain CPU liquid coolers require you to mount the fans to the radiator. Luckily the Titan 360 comes with them already attached and all of the cables are already connected and you can just plug that straight into the included RGB hub. Today we're going to be top mounting for the best airflow. Screw the radiator securely with the provided screws but don't over tighten. You may need to adjust the radiator to look in line with the other components as well. The Titan 360 comes with pre-applied thermal paste so we're good to go. Lower the pump block onto the CPU, align it with the standoffs and secure it evenly with the thumb screws in a cross pattern with a screwdriver while applying light pressure at all times with your hand until you have screwed the pump block completely tight. With that complete, you need to unpack the RGB hub and cables. Connect this fan to the USB port on the top of the CPU block and run it behind the motherboard and attach it to the Corsair hub. Next, connect the three pin fan cable to the CPU pump header located here and then feed it over the Intel board and connect it also to the Corsair hub. Connect this USB 2.0 cable to one of your motherboard's USB 2.0 headers located here and attach this to the Corsair hub as well. Lastly, you will need to connect the 6-pin power connector to a 6-pin connector from your power supply once the PSU is installed, please don't forget. And that's it, your AIO is installed. I've recently made a more in-depth guide on AIO mounting, check it out on my channel. 
Now let's make some serious airflow action with these seven Corsair fans. I have four Corsair IQ LX120s and three LX120R reverse fans. The reverse fans are perfect for intake on the bottom or the side since they hide the back of the fan hub and cables. First up I'm going to install this three pack of reverse fans at the side of my case for intake and add three LX120s to the bottom of my case. Depending on airflow I would probably reduce the RPM of all the bottom fans as I don't want to change the case's overall airflow too much. Each fan can be linked together with these connectors or connected with the included cables then link them all back to the included fan hub. This will control your fan and LED lighting. You will need to download Corsair's IQ software after the build is complete and lastly I will add a single fan at the rear for exhaust this setup guarantees both great airflow and awesome LED lighting effects I will showcase them at the end of the video time for the power supply as we're nearly finished before mounting connect all of the cables to the PSU beforehand connect the 24 pin ATX cable the 8 pin EPS cables for the CPU the 12 pin for the GPU and lastly an extra 6 pin for the Corsair RGB hub so neatly slide your PSU into your case and line it up with the mounting holes like this. Use the four screws that came with your PSU and fix it in place. Attach the 24 pin to the motherboard located here. The cables that power the CPU are tricky, sometimes it takes a second to get them in but don't worry be patient. Next feed the 12 pin cable from the back of your case neatly so it lines up correctly with your GPU and lastly connect up the 6 pin power connector from your Corsair RGB hub. And now here's the star of the build, the Gigabyte Eagle RTX 5070 Ti with 16GB of VRAM. For installation, line up the connector with the top PCIe slot and push firmly until it clicks into place and just secure it with the screws. Super easy. For cable management, route cables behind the motherboard tray using velcro straps or zip ties to keep your case neat. The Corsair 3500X has great cutouts but it's extremely difficult to get all of these cables straight and neat. Since there's going to be so many tucked away out of sight, I wouldn't worry about it too much, it's better not have them all stretched tight anyway. The final step is to double check all of your connections and your GPU is seated correctly with the 12 pin firmly plugged in. Once you've checked, connect your monitor, mouse and keyboard board and press that power button. On first boot head to the BIOS and check temps. Make sure your RAM is running at the right speed with XMP enabled. Confirm the system detects your SSD and turn on resizable bar. You will need to have the Windows installation drive at the ready which should be inserted into your motherboard's rear IO USB port. Once you're inside Windows install your motherboard drivers, Corsair's IQ for fan and RGB control and Nvidia's GeForce drivers for the RTX 5070 Ti. And that's it, your gaming PC is built for performance. Here are some benchmarks I performed at various resolutions for you to check out to see how well this PC performs. And lastly, to finish off the video, I wanted to showcase this build with some of my favourite camera shots edited together with some awesome music. Check it out.
Okay everyone, as you can tell, this is a powerful, future-proof gaming rig that looks just as good as it performs. If you found this beginner's guide helpful, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and drop a comment if you're planning your own build. I would love to hear what PCs you guys are planning on building or if you have an upgrade planned very soon. Thanks for watching everyone, my name is Mark from Silence Tech, goodbye.